Welcome to the fourth video in our Gauss Basics series. Our topic is using operators with matrices. We'll show how to perform matrix operations as well as element-wise operations on matrices. Let's start with a multiplication operator. As we've seen, the star or asterisk symbol performs element-wise multiplication when one of the operands is a scalar. However, if both operands are vectors or matrices, the multiplication operator will perform matrix multiplication. For example, if we have a row vector containing the miles driven by two people and a column vector with their fuel cost per mile, the multiplication operator will perform the vector product, resulting in the total fuel cost for our two drivers. If they're both column vectors, we can use the transpose operator followed by the multiply operator to perform the inner product. Since this is such a common operation, Gauss allows you to use just the transpose operator as a shorthand, like this. Now, if we want to compute the cost for each of the drivers separately, we will need to perform the element-wise product. In Gauss, element-wise operations are indicated by adding a dot to the front of the operator. This is the same for the division operator. Dot slash performs element by element division, whereas the slash operator alone will solve a system of linear equations or compute least squares estimates. We'll finish up by simulating a linear model using matrix operators, then perform the same operation using the element by element operators. And finally, estimate the linear model using the slash operator. In this video, you've learned the basics of the Gauss matrix operators and the dot operators, which perform element-wise operations. Next time, we'll show you how the Gauss element-by-element -element conformability rules can help you to create elegant mathematical code. See you then!